Hello my darling Virgo, how are you doing? If you're new to the channel, what is up? My name is Leela, I reside in London, UK and I'm also a Virgo baby. <sighs> Shouts out to my turning subs, you know who you are, I appreciate you. We're going to do an inventory spread, we're going to pick up on past, present and future energy. Past energy could be yesterday, it could be a month ago, it could be just the general energy of the last few days. Current energy, again, could be yesterday, today, tomorrow and the same for future so we have the two of pentacles virgo oh and please remember to smash the thumbs button it's free i do daily readings i'd really appreciate your support you can um leave a comment even if it's just a heart interact with the video i appreciate you guys two of pentacles knight of wands ten of pentacles so past energy you've had a lot going on maybe you have been quite busy maybe you've been really trying to juggle a lot of aspects of your life okay so for example again i'm a virgo i'm not just a mum i'm not just a daughter a sister an auntie i'm also the gifted i'm also leela i'm also me okay so trying to juggle aspects you know of your life yes you're busy and um, that's not necessarily a bad thing it keeps us out of our minds a little bit virgo um, but yeah, just trying to juggle and, and keep the peace. Like peace is, is very important to you guys. You value peace and no drama. The Knight of Wands indicates just trying to have fun, you know, trying to have that balance of reality, like work, paying bills. And then on the other side and your responsibilities, for example, children and stuff like that. And the other side of you is really just trying to have some sort of excitement, leave a little bit of room for excitement, for adventure. Ten of Pentacles indicates a lot of you guys are family orientated. Not only that, um, your your career, your dreams, your aspirations, you're wanting to leave a legacy, not just for yourself, if you're a parent, for your children. Yeah, quality over quantity, darling. You're really trying to make sure that there is pockets of happiness and good times and celebrations in your life. So I see that, Virgo. Going into current energy. Now, this could be a particular person, okay? Because we have the Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups and also the Ten of Wands. It feels quite heavy with regards to love. Um, someone may be, not secretly, secretly is not the right word. It's there, it's a lingering energy. Someone's hurt you, upset you, broke your heart. And on the forefront of things, you're just getting on with it. OK, you're just getting on with it, being true to yourself, um, trying not to put too much emphasis on something here. This ten of wands and the eight of cups indicates a lot of you guys, there is distance. Things have changed. Maybe you walked away. Maybe they walked away from you. But even though that pain lingers, you really don't want to be in that energy. You want to be happy. There's more to life than letting someone live in your head, head rent free. There's more to life than heartbreak and, and sorrow and, and sadness. You ain't got time for that. Like Life is a precious gift. Yeah, and a lot of you guys know that. So you're doing your best to just get on with it. Despite current circumstances, especially with regards to love. Oh, I'm single. Oh, I... I never find the right person and, and so forth. You know, things don't work out for me. Don't beat yourself up about it, Virgo. And I think a lot of you guys are not beating yourself up about it. You're just getting on with it. Yeah. And I respect that about you guys. Now, future energy, we have the King of Pentacles. Okay. The Justice card and the Moon energy. There's an uncertainty here. And it could be with regards to this. Someone making you feel uncertain. We have... um. Otter Spirit, go and check them out, guys, just quickly before I continue. They do bracelets, okay? They've got, got packages for your zodiac sign. So, for example, Virgo, you can get, I think it's three bracelets that they do for Virgo. I'm not sure of the exact crystals. I, um, I would suggest that you go and check them out. Every purchase that is made, a dollar goes to help wild otters. They are a family-run business in California, okay? And if you use the discount code, the Gifted Hermit 20, the Gifted Hermit 20, you can get 20% off, all right? That's enough of that. Future Energy, King of Pentacles. There is a gentleman here, the Justice card. 
this could have been a karmic connection okay i reckon you know this person already um i feel like i feel like that moon card with regards to your energy is you suppressing your emotions like you don't want to get back to that three of swords you don't want to be let down again and you're letting justice take course okay you're letting karma do its work you're again getting on with it and you're leaving it up to the universe you're leaving it up to god this person and you stood you stood up for, for yourself i reckon or maybe you're going to stand up for yourself and there's going to be a point where you have a conversation and you say what you really want to say as as they say in the hood say it with chest like you're really going to get something off your chest here energetically or literally okay this king of pentacles for some of you guys you know this you definitely know this person okay they could be a capricorn taurus virgo it doesn't have to be those signs it could also be a libra we've got pisces and cancer energy here as well you want this person to speak up you want this person to actually express how they really feel and without giving you uh without giving you what's the word what i'm trying to say is okay you prefer the bitter truth rather than sweet lies you respect people you don't want to be in this uncertain energy not knowing where you stand and again a lot of you guys i'm going to keep putting emphasis on this there's a part of you that really doesn't give a shit but we also know that there is a part of you that really does perhaps wants clarity or closure and I'll tell you for free, darling, we don't always get closure. We don't always get clarity. And it's annoying. It's annoying that people don't want to express how they feel. Because in turn, that leaves you like not knowing where you stand. But when push comes to shove, Virgo, you know where you stand. If that person really cared, they'd make you a priority. And if they're not making you a priority, fuck them, okay? You make yourself a priority. I do see love here. I do see someone coming in fast and strong, but you know better, Virgo. You know if this person is really for you. I wouldn't make any hasty decisions, okay? They always come crawling back, darling. But I also get this energy of unfulfillment. You know, someone not ticking all your boxes. Remember, look at this. Remember who you are and what it is that you deserve there's definitely love coming in and for some of you guys it's the return of the ex or the return of somebody right so let me clarify i want to get down to the nitty and gritty why is the three of swords here why is the three of swords here why is the three of swords here So a lot of you guys are finding it quite difficult to let the past go. Even though you know it needs to be done. It needs to be truly released here. Because there's uncertainty. There's secrets. You don't fully trust somebody here. Well, you know there's more that meets the eye. There is a non-committal energy here. You deserve someone to be committed to you. You deserve someone to give you their all. There's no opportunity here. Where's the opportunity for growth? progress there is a lack of progress here so you need to release somebody here a lot of you guys are already in the process of doing it okay but some of you still need to fully let go and i know easier said than done gifted easier said than done i know okay so i don't even think i need to clarify anything more i'm gonna see what's coming towards you in love okay What's coming, what or who is coming towards Virgo in love? The Emperor card. Hmm. I question this energy, especially with regards to compatibility, Virgo, because the Emperor card, Aries energy, is a very intense energy. It doesn't have to be an Aries, but this is somebody that likes a sense of control, likes to maybe have the last say or be in charge. They may have a little bit of a temper here, but they're intense always on the go yeah you're quite laid back what's coming or who is coming towards virgo in love see five of pentacles i don't think that this person truly values you no 
who or what is coming towards Virgo in love. But then again, like I feel like you guys are realizing that. Stick to your values, Virgo. You you deserve far more. What's coming towards Virgo is in love. Hmm. I think maybe somebody is going to shoot their shot. Or there is somebody here, um, very mysterious, that could be coming towards you. The Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, rather, sorry, indicates new love, new connections, a new era, starting to open up your heart, starting to catch feelings. You may not see it coming, but I see exciting times here. You know what? Me being 35 years old, look, I, I haven't been married who am i i'm just me that who should i be to be giving you guys advice but what i see here is um maybe a summer romance you know literally like seasons come and go people come and go and they're only there for a season have you ever heard of that saying you don't want that you want commitment you deserve to be valued to be loved you deserve a committed connection you deserve someone to be uh, crazy about you in a healthy way someone that respects you values you so if you want to have a little fling if you want to have a little fun cool but remember to remind yourself this is all it is expectations lead to disappointment and i wouldn't have and you've got high standards you've got high expectations but i think for some t some of you guys this time around you shouldn't have it okay what is meant to be will be with regards to love okay if they're meant for you they'll be for you and that's why I'm going to leave this reading, okay? Remember, you can book me for a personal, just get in touch. You can follow me on the socials, I follow back. And you can catch me for live tarot. Hit the bell so you don't miss the opportunity to get a free mini reading. I love you guys. As I always say, from one Virgo to another, be kind to others. But most importantly, be kind to you and the gift that will catch you on the rebound. Mwah.